Hey guys, what is up? The NeoCubist here. Welcome to episode 5 of my Minecraft Skyblock server on, well, on my server, Neo Network. But yes, welcome. I can't believe we're on episode 5 of the Let's Play already. This season has been going absolutely insane. I did make a few updates to the cobblestone generator. As you can see here, I decided to just surround it with some cherry trap doors just to kind of match how the stairs are right there. And I don't know, man, I think it looks pretty cool. I've been mining at it quite a bit. I did sell everything recently, um, so you can see we have $700,000. We also have 46,000 sky coins. Admittedly, I didn't farm as many trees in between episodes. I was mainly just mining, which is okay, because I needed enough funds so that we can build a proper mob killing area. Because otherwise, you guys are going to come over here, you're going to see this, and you're going to say, Neo, this is shabby. I don't want to kill mobs here. It's just a big platform. So we'll remedy that today. We're going to make something pretty cool. Anyways, yes, this is my server, Neo Network. It's a full-fledged Skyblock server. Well, we also have Survival in Prison, but Survival is kind of... It, it, it's a bit long in the tooth for this season, and then Prison is the same way, so Skyblock is kind of the game mode everyone's playing. We have 485 people on here, and it's a Wednesday at 11 a.m., so uh, I think people are loving this season, which makes me super-duper happy. But yeah, you can play it on both Java and Bedrock Minecraft, so any version of Minecraft that you have on any device will allow you to connect and the info for how to connect is down in the top pinned comment and in the description below would love to see you around on here and if you'd like to visit my island and see it in person which i know a lot of people have really liked all you have to do is slash is space visit space the neo cubist if you hear my dog squeaking a toy i apologize she's she's just a puppy if you want to see my my golden retriever puppy you can go on my instagram just the Neo Cubist is the username and go look at pictures of her. She's super cute. She's getting to be big. She's like at 40 pounds now, which is wild. But yeah, if you want to visit my island, it's just this command right here. I ask visit the Neo Cubist and it'll take you to this block right here. And if you do so happen to want to leave me a note, you can do so by just writing in a book and then dropping it in here. And then I will open those up. And next episode, we will go through all of them. Okay. Let's build a proper area to kill mobs, because obviously this is a little uh, uh, rudimentary. You know what? We'll be kind to ourselves. We're just going to say that it's rudimentary. That we're, we're not going to say anything else. So that's it. Just rudimentary, which is okay. You know, it was, a, it was a starting area. It'll work. Well, it worked for its purpose. I don't know if I go into spawners. You guys need to help me, man. We're at 15% uh, out of 12,000, which to be fair, it's kind of hard to help me when I don't have that many spawners. Um, but the more that you guys kill on the island, specifically these mobs over here, the faster that I can get to tier two mobs. So I'm going to let the viewers kind of bring me through these. We're, we're, we're going to have to work together as a server to get me through these. I mean, I, I'll, I'll get kills too, but it's kind of fun to have the whole server work together and uh, get us into the higher tiers because I really want to get to tier three so I can get a bunch of XP. Okay, so let's see if do we have any cherry wood because I don't think uh, I don't think we do. We don't have any cherry wood logs, which is kind of a problem, but I know we have cherry saplings and the fact that I can fly makes all of this so much easier. I'm going to kill a few skeletons. I'm going to grab some bone meal. Just got to wait for them to spawn real quick. I'll come back with some bones. Okay, so we got about 40 bones, which is quite a bit of bone meal, which is perfect. And we just need some dirt. Now, since we can fly, which by the way, if you want to be able to fly like me, do slash vote and vote. Because if you vote, you can get gift cards and you can buy anything on the store. You want to get yourself one of the new lucky crates, which is super overpowered. You can. All you got to do is vote for an entire month and then use your gift cards and you can buy yourself a lucky crate. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am, or the ability to fly, which is $3.99 on the store. So you can just vote for, is it eight days, I think? And then you can, yeah, after eight days, be able to fly, which is pretty nice. I did that every other season and uh, decided oh my gosh so I gave Lauren right this giant stuffed bear for our first uh, Valentine's Day you know so she's had it for a while and uh, we we brought it inside and Hazel has now claimed it as her own and she like just plays with it she like drags it around and like you know she, she hasn't ripped it up or anything but she just like bites on it and you know just kind of plays with it and it's really funny to see because it's like twice as big as her I, I don't know you know what here here's what I'll do and excuse the the dirt the messy floor i will uh oh well i looked at her and now she got uninterested in in, in her bear here look at your bear i'm gonna get a good picture okay it's hard to get a picture of it 
I'll try to get a picture at some point of her playing with this bear. Oh. Did I get it? I did get it. I'm going to post this to Instagram right now. Excuse the floor in my office. It's full of dog toys, but maybe uh, you uh, puppy parents out there know what I'm talking about. But yes, I'll post this picture on my Instagram. So if you want to follow me on there and go look at it, go check it out. Okay. The picture is now live on my Instagram if you want to go look at it. There you go. Driving people to my Instagram. I know a lot, a lot of people now that are that are like just don't use Instagram anymore. Just don't have it. So that's okay too. But I assure you it's just a, a small dog playing with a giant stuffed bear. <laughs> there you go. You can imagine that in your head in any number of ways. And that is exactly what is happening. Okay. So luckily, since we now have Fortune 6 on our axe, we can get these cherry logs very quickly and by very quickly I mean very quickly I kind of like how these look um, but if I'm gonna leave the trees in the corners right then I'm gonna have to do a few prep things first so I actually really like the way that those look <laughs> I'm not gonna lie so what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and let all these leaves decay first um, I, I might do another round of cherry logs I really might it's so nice to be able to get them uh, so quickly because when you fly it doesn't like slow down your braking speed because they're you know the, It's like a server side enchant that's letting letting you break them instantly But it actually turns out to be super useful for more ways than one well in more ways than one I'd say Plus we could have a little path that goes on top of these cherry trees. I don't know man. I got some pretty cool ideas That'd be kind of fun So I'll farm these for just a little bit and then I'll come back because I gotta let her outside of here at the door So now let me farm some of these trees. I'll come back and we'll discuss how we're gonna do this spawner area Okay, so a majority of the leaves are gone as you can see <clears throat> and what I kind of want to do is I, I want to make these trees a little bit taller than they normally would be if that makes sense So maybe up to here. I don't know if this will look ridiculous or not. We'll kind of see I guess we can always just like remove them and plant more but I want to, I don't know, like I really like the cherry wood, man. And I'm really happy that it's on the server now. And I think we can utilize it very well to make some cool looking stuff. Nice, okay, let's go. Okay, and then kind of my idea, do I even have like a nice shovel? I have a shovel. <laughs> well, it has efficiency too, which is, which is not bad. I think it can instantly break dirt. We just got to do it when we're standing on the ground. And then you, you kind of know what I mean? Like extend the trunk downward and maybe it'll just look like a tree on stilts or just naturally look like a taller tree, which it, it, it does look just like a taller tree, which is what I was going for. I planned this totally. But this means we won't have any trouble with mobs like spawning on the leaves or something like that. Okay. There we go. Now the area is done. I'm <laughs> just kidding. But that does... <laughs> it does that does look interesting you gotta admit okay you have to admit to me that it, do, it does look interesting and now kind of what I want to do I'm getting like a feeling here I kind of want to do I'm thinking okay like I'm, I'm thinking because I like the pink glass I got nothing against the pink glass um, and we still do have quite a bit of it I don't know if we'll need that much we'll see but I kind of want to like build like a you know, like a, I don't even know how to describe what I, what I'm trying to do here. And then just put like two on, on well, it, 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 at least a layer connecting all of these like this, right? And then like this one would be a little taller and then something like that. <clears throat> and then have that be all around there, but it would be a random pattern, right? So this one might be one and then this one might be three and then two and then two and then you know, maybe that one's really tall and then maybe a bunch of them are really short next to each other and then one is all the way up here Something like this. Does that make sense? I don't I don't exactly know what I'm going for But sometimes you feel something in a build and it looks good and that's kind of what I'm going for I suppose Yeah, something like this and then we just have to do it on this wall. Okay Maybe do a one there and then do a really tall one and a really short one and then a medium one and then a three high one and then a two one There we go. There's a lot of twos. So why don't we do? Yeah I don't know. Let me know what you think of this. I mean, it's all just kind of coming out of my brain because I'm thinking about it 
Yeah, I think that kind of looks cool. Let's let's see how it looks from like far away. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going for. Kind of like a rough look in a way, but not like so rough that it's uninviting, but like it's it's something cool, I guess. <laughs> I probably sound like a crazy person. I don't know, man. I'm just kind of like making something. I don't I don't really have a plan in mind. I know how I kind of want this to go, but I don't really have a plan. I think that looks cool. And so now you can't hit them off the edge, which makes it so much easier. And like for every tier, we'll build a nice cool little room. But like, so we have 14 pig spawners, four chicken spawners. What I want to do is I want to put these each in a corner. Since we have four types, well, we should have four types. We don't have any cows, which does make this all the trickier. Okay, so now we have all the mobs and I'm going to buy some cows, but only for posterity. We're not going to spend a bunch of money on cows. We'll buy like... How much is 10 cow? <laughs> We're not going to buy 10 of those. We'll buy three, three, three cow spawners. We'll put them in this corner. So you want, you, you want some beef? That's so what's for dinner. You got to come over here. Now pigs, I'm going to buy as many as I possibly can, which honestly may not end up being to, as many as I, I had hoped. No, not really at all. <laughs> we can buy 19 of them and now we have $470. Oh no. <laughs> okay, well, we've got to get more money, and I think a, a good way to get more money, especially if you're going to, you know, AFK on your island, which is perfectly okay, as long as you're not doing any actions while you're AFKing, it is perfectly okay to AFK. I want to build a cactus farm, but I want to make it look good. I'm tired of like, okay, I just, I was like, I'm just going to go to the bottom of the world. We're going to build it. No, I want to build something that actually looks cool, man. I'm tired of building stuff that just looks like junk. So let's go to <clears throat> a chunk where this can fit, first of all. Um, I'm trying to see kind of like like our border here. We have 48,000 sky coins. We could grind to get enough, but I almost like the idea of making everything kind of compact. I don't know. Let's go up to this height, which we can do with logs we can instantly break. So it's actually not, not that difficult. We're going to go up really high. Not, not really high, just above everything. Right? And I feel like this is pretty much above everything. And we're going to take all this out. Take all this out. Get out of here, dude. Don't need you. We don't need you. And then we're going to find the corner, which will be like over here. And I'm going to build... Um, I'm going to build a nice looking cactus farm. I'm tired. I'm tired of cactus farms looking like... What is going on? What is going on? What? What it is my keyboard broken? <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, well, well, we need to go over this way, right? So let's 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 hold on. We need to go over this way. I'm not touching anything on my keyboard. <laughs> if if we stop flying, I think my am I walking? Yes, I think my keyboard is broken. Oh, t t come on, man! In the middle of a video, and I just bought this. Th Oh, I just had to tap the S key and it stopped. Okay. <laughs> Don't want to know. This keyboard is a nice keyboard. It's a Keychron Q1 Max, something like that. But if it's going to do that, I've never had a keyboard just like fail. <laughs> just start flinging me in, in, in certain directions. Now, is one of these like the wrong way? Yeah, I feel like that one was the wrong way. So then we just build on the corner like this. I feel like this is going to need five. Right, so one, two, three, four, five. Um, no, 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 no. Hold on. So hear me out. If we want to surround the cactus farm with something, it quite literally can't be anything because cactus. I'm trying to think. I know I sound like I sound like someone who's just like all over the place. I am a little bit all over the place, but I'm thinking because I don't think you can put even glass next to cactus. Right, let's do a little experiment. So, let's say we have some cactus. Which I know I put in some chests, yeah, we put it in here. If we put a piece of glass, will it break it? Yeah, so you can't, you can't even use non-solid blocks. So what we're gonna have to, oh no. So what we're gonna have to do is make a shell around the frame made of glass. Okay, okay. So that means, let's say that cactus is like all on here, right? So that means the frame actually has to be, you know, if we want to have like glass, that means the frame actually has to be 
what is going on with my poor computer? My computer's had these little fits where it'll like lag really bad. Now, I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's the Minecraft instance. I, I truly don't know. But that means the shell of it has to be like out here. Okay. So maybe we need to go around this entire thing with like a one block gap like this and build. And I don't need chunk borders anymore. The reason I'm building it inside of one chunk is so that it can all be captured by a single hopper, a crop hopper. And uh, if you don't know what that is, I would go back and start an episode one because I did explain a lot of stuff. Um, I don't want to. I, I feel like I, I feel like I waste some people's time that already know what they're talking about if I start to explain things that maybe they've already heard me talk about a few times. But if you want to get like explanations on stuff like that, then I would definitely go back and watch a little bit. So I think for the inside platform. At least temporarily speaking, the inside platform will just be cherry, like, uh, I'm trying to think. Probably just honestly, just cherry planks. Because you're not going to be able to really see it. It's going to be mainly just a bunch of cactus. And, uh, you know, the, the whole thing is just sand and cactus, if that makes sense. So I'm going to kind of copy this pattern on the whole thing. And then I'm going to remove these. Which we we may add them back, I really don't know. But for now... So now we just have this. So we'll leave this, right? Like, I, I don't mind having this as long as this log. Actually, no. No, I don't, I don't want this, actually. So let's take some planks. Because having some AFK money generation would be very nice. That would be very nice. Break this, but cactus is valuable. So make sure you don't lose it to the void. You don't want to lose it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in the space between these with just planks and that's going to be what we set our sand on so if you've never built one of these cactus farms this is going to be a great video for you and if you have built one i'll still make it enjoyable okay i promise i just got to fill all this in be back in a sec okay so this is where the sand is going to go right um and you place sand down in a diagonal pattern like this quite literally just in like a diagonal pattern I don't have any more sand with me, but you fill up that whole thing. And then this is going to be where the frame goes. So as tall as we make it, which for now I'm sure it'll only be, you know, X blocks tall or whatever. Um, but I'll fill in all this with glass. I think you kind of understand what I'm doing here. I'm not going to make you watch it. But when we start doing the meat and potatoes of the farm, the actual cactus, I'll come back and show you. But yeah, I'm just going to have to fill all this in with glass. So I'll be back in just a second. Well, I ran out of money. <laughs> I couldn't finish it. I ran out of money. So what we're going to do is we are going to either grind this, this, or this. But before we do that, we're going to see if we get lucky. So on the server yesterday, I uh, did a key all. So if you ever logged into the server, I give away these premium crate keys like pretty often. Um, so you just have to be logged in an AFK. And uh, if you were logged in an AFK yesterday, you got a pedal and a pollen key and four vote keys. And that reminds me, I'm going to vote, grab all five of my vote keys and that's really, really going to help out, too. You know, look at me in chat. It says the Neo Cubist has voted for awards. Let's go. Okay, so now we'll have five of these vote keys. And I gave away four yesterday, so we should have nine total. So let's go to warp crates. And let's get ourselves, hopefully, some value blocks that we can sell. And again, voting is completely free. All you have to do is just go to those websites, type in your username, and then click submit. So we'll go ahead and roll this, see if we can get... Okay, well, we we did get some spawners. I'm not mad about that, but I really want value blocks, please. Yes, dude. Okay, nice. Okay, and then we have some pedal keys to open. It looks like we did a mission, so we just got another pedal key, which is nice. Something extreme... I'll take the... <laughs> I'll take the extreme enchant books and then the pollen key. Please give me something. Give me something. I'll take a two-time Skycoin booster. I will take that. I'll use that when I'm grinding. I get double the Skycoins. Yo, what's up, guys? How you doing today? Look at the lucky crate. Look how lucky. The luckiest crate that ever lucky. Okay. Back to my island. And then I guess we also have the vote party. So we'll open that. And while that's going, I'm going to sell all my value blocks. Just so that... Okay. And yeah, we'll sell that value block. We'll sell that one. We'll sell that one. It's given us a lot of value blocks, which is good. That's 10k cash just off the bat. Let's go. Okay. Nice. There's just a bunch of value blocks. Let's see any good enchants. Condenser 3 is really good, actually. Siphon 5, not, not so much. So we're going to go to the enchant menu. 
I'm just kind of saving up all the bad enchants that I get. I probably should break my lucky block, to be honest, because you can get some good money, but I'm going to keep that condenser enchant. What else? I got something else. I got experience three, too, which is nice. Okay, what did, what did that give us? Oh, we got a vote key from it. Okay, back to the crates. Let's see if we get something crazy. By the way, I don't know if you guys remember, we got a gift card from the vote crate. And I wonder, did anyone use the code? I assume someone did. Yeah, someone did. There's still there's still a dollar left, though. But I don't think there's anything on the store that is exactly one dollar, so it doesn't really matter. 64 gold blocks, dude. I'll take it. At this point, I am so down bad for cash. And now we have 200k. Just from selling things you get for free. Let's go. Oh, and look at that. Another crop hopper, which will be especially helpful for our cactus farm. So I will take that. We'll go ahead and put that there. Now we have two of them. Let's go. Pig spawners and sheep spawners. Of course, they go in their respective spots. Pig spawners and then sheep spawners. Nice. Okay, cool. And then I don't need, I don't need those. We just don't need those. And then we'll put this in our PV1 as well, our Skycoin booster, so we don't forget to use it. Now we can go in the shop, and now we can buy the glass that we need to finish this project. So let me <clears throat> build the outside of this, and then I will come right back. There's only 4,800 bucks per, like, and I may grow those cherry trees on this. That could be kind of cool. But yeah, I'll, I'll be right back when I'm done with this. Okay, so I finished the walls, right? That looks pretty cool. And then I also decided to do a border of glass down here because this is where the cactus is going to be sitting. Um, I do think that I want these to extend out a little bit more just because of the size of this thing. I hope that these logs don't ever mess with the leaves. I don't think they can. They'd have to be on like the very, very edge or something like that. So it should be okay. I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. And then we can just verify that everything is correct and make sure that it's in one, in one chunk. And yep, it looks like that. And again... Slash chunk borders. People keep asking me. Use chunk borders if you don't know. This can be a super helpful command, especially if you're on your phone and you can't do the F3 plus G thing. You can just do this and see if it's inside of the chunk. Okay, so now the next step is going to be getting a bunch of sand. Now, I believe I have some, but I don't think I have enough. I don't, I really don't know. We'll, we'll have to kind of find out. And actually, before we do any of this, you're going to need a bunch. And I mean a bunch of string. So how are we going to get that string, you say? Well, we don't even have a netherite sword. I believe that is something we just never made was a sword. So let's go in the shop. Wait a second. Before we go in the shop, let's go in here. And yes, we have two diamonds. Do we have... I don't think we can even get ancient debris yet, but it's easy to buy. You just go in the shop and you go to materials and then you go to the second page and then you buy an ingot and you're good. And luckily, you don't need to have a smithing table on the server. Um, you can just take it and just combine it. There you go. And then what we're going to do, and this, you know, obviously we're going to get the Slayer Blade, which is a mastery tool, but for now, I just want to get, like, looting three and sharpness, you know, some somewhat high up and then a little bit unbreaking. So we're going to go to one of the IS top islands, and we're just going to hope that one of these people has some string for us, some spiders. Let's see. Do they have spiders? Yes, they have spiders. I need your string, good sir. Please give me your string. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, dude. We're getting a ton of string. So I'm going to click really fast, get a bunch of string, and then I'll come back. Okay. And now we probably have more string than we'll ever need. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the cherry saplings up. I'm sorry. I know you can hear her playing. I know I apologize every time and you guys don't care, so I don't know why. I have this weird thing where when I record, if it's like not completely quiet, it like bugs me. But people understand that like I have a, you know, like a... An animal and sometimes they just go crazy so we're gonna take about equal amounts of string and cactus like this and we're gonna go up to our cactus farm now one thing I will recommend yes you found a squeaker okay maybe maybe you don't want to hear the squeaker but there's this there's this texture pack called tripwire visibility and that is found if you join the neo network discord and you go to the general chat channel go to the pinned messages and one of those pinned messages is me uploading this file. And what that does is it makes string look like a piece of just red line, which is super duper helpful. I know you're like, Neo, why do I need that? Well, I'll show you in just a second. So let me finish putting down this checkerboard pattern of sand, and then I will come right back again. You only want to do this inside of the chunks. We're not going to be putting it on the glass, just on the planks. So I will do this real quick, and then I will come right back when I'm done. Oh, don't do that. Okay, and done. 
Nice. And then you want to take your cactus and you want to plant it on top of all this sand. And there's a way you can get it where you can go pretty fast on it. Like there's a pattern you can do. I like to do like three at a time like this. Because this is something you're going to be building like a lot of layers of. If you did this and built like a hundred layers, you would make so much money. Now, is it? This isn't the best money maker in the game, but it's one of the full most, or it's I think pretty much one of the only fully AFKable money makers. Because you can pump this stuff into auto sell chests and then just make money like that. But we're just gonna put it into a chest and then manually sell it. Because why? You ask. I don't want to sell it at first because I want to be able to get my mastery up, which means I need to break it by hand. So I'm gonna have to <clears throat> plant an area to break this stuff by hand. I need to take a drink. If you got water next to you right now, take take a drink. Mm. Your body will thank you. So once we get Cactus Mastery to tier one, we can craft a Cactus Minion, which will get our mastery up just by, you know, the, the minions will get the mastery up for you. You don't have to do it anymore. Because ideally we want to get to triple sell price of cactus because that will make our farm three times more effective Which is a pretty good amount. I'd say that's a pretty good amount But once you have this done You're now gonna take string and you're gonna put it in between every piece of cactus like this It seems meticulous, but it is worth it. I promise so I'll come back once I've put string in between every single piece of cactus so Give me one moment here Okay, and then we have the string in between every piece of cactus and now you repeat the pattern, but instead you do it, you put the sand in the opposite place, so just right on top of the string. So what this is going to do is whenever the cactus grows, it will instantly break and then go into the crop hopper. And now all you do is repeat, rinse and repeat, and eventually you'll have a giant cactus farm that makes you a giant amount of money, fully AFK. So definitely something every island on the server should have, but you know... It's not for the faint of heart. Sometimes it can be a little tricky to build just because it takes so long. But it's worth it. It's one of those things where, you know, you put on a YouTube video, you get a bunch of sand, you get a bunch of cactus, and you get a bunch of string, and you just have fun. You watch a YouTube video, and you build. That's what I do, usually. So I'm going to build this thing up off camera to be to the top of that glass there. We should have, like, three, four, maybe five layers. And then once I am done with that, I will come back. We'll put down a chest with a crop hopper and uh, we'll see how much money it makes. It, it, it might be a good idea to kind of do that now. That way we don't end up losing any. So let's take two chests here. You know, obviously eventually you're gonna wanna have more. And then we'll have one crop hopper and then we just need to find somewhere inside this chunk. So like right here, it doesn't matter where in the chunk. By the way, do slash NV if it is ever dark on my island or if it's ever dark on your island. And now everything that's a crop that is broken inside of this chunk will end up in this chest, like all the cactus. So I'm going to, like I said, build it up to the top of this and we'll come right back. All right, well, are you guys ready to see it? <laughs> it's not that impressive yet, but eventually it will be, eventually. But for now, we at least have a little bit of AFK money making. Now I can hear the cactus kind of going on its own. You hear it breaking. Here, we'll go in here into the depths. Let's see, see if we can hear. You hear that? Money. 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 That's the sound of money, baby. And it's just constantly flowing. So if we look down in here, and imagine if you built that in like 10 chunks. Look at that. Just while we were building it, we got a stack of cactus. Now, a stack of cactus off the bat, I will admit. Right, you're gonna sell it for 400 bucks and you're gonna be like, well, that's like a stack of locks, but it's completely AFK and that's without the triple cell multiplier. So that's something you wanna work toward. Now, to get your cactus mastery up, you are going to have to break the cactus by hand. You cannot, that's right, you cannot just, you know, let it break with the world. Like, you have to be breaking it with your hand to get the mastery up, that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know why I was trying to say it in, in a strange way, but... Yes, you have to break it with your own two fists, or one fist, I suppose, because <laughs> we're in Minecraft. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go down really, really far, and we'll use, like, wood since I can break it so quickly. Sure, we'll use some oak wood. I don't quite know why I have so much oak wood, but I do. And we'll put up all the string and cactus. And we're just going to go down really, really far in the world, 
and I'm going to make a little area down there, a little platform that I'm going to use in between episodes to break 500 pieces of cactus. It's really not that much. And then all of the cactus from our um, automatic cactus farm, I'm going to save. I'm not going to sell so that we can craft those cactus minions. Trust me, it is going to be very, very well worth it. So we have this oak log down here. Ooh, if I can land on it, nice. And we just need to build a platform. We'll just buy some cheap materials, something that we're just going to like instantly break. It's it's not something we'll keep. So what's like the cheapest thing? Like cobblestone? Yeah, it looks like it's cobblestone. So we'll buy just a bunch of cobblestone. And I'm just going to build out like a platform down here. It doesn't matter how big it is. Uh, it just needs to be big enough to where you are going to feel comfortable breaking it and not feel like you're gonna get tired. So we'll build it like this big, something like this, maybe even a little bit bigger, and then I will fill it in in just a moment. I don't think you need to watch me fly around and fill it in. And uh, once I'm done with that, I will come back. Well, I finished the platform right, but we're running into a little bit of a hiccup, and that's the fact that I don't have enough money to buy enough sand. Hopefully we have enough sand in here. Yeah, I definitely don't. So I don't have enough sand to plant all of this, which is somewhat unfortunate, but at the same time, it'll be okay because we'll be able to kind of get money through mining trees and stuff like that. But that's where the game starts getting fun is when you reach a roadblock, you have to do something like farm or, you know, I haven't even farmed any crops and that's another really good money maker with its own like set of masteries and stuff like that. There's just so many things to do it. Look at that. Right when we need some money, a vote party happens and maybe we will get enough from this vote party to uh, fund our sand operations. I'll just keep placing sand and then we'll just figure out what we get after. Just gotta keep placing sand, never stop. This is only temporary. What in the world? Cat just knocked all this stuff off my desk. Now I gotta go clean it up, so hold on. But what, 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 what did we get? We got a little bit of money. We got some value blocks. Nice. Cat just jumped on my desk and knocked all this stuff off. I love kitties, they're so smart. I'll be right back. Okay, that's all cleaned up. Let's see, how much money is this? Cause I don't think it's enough, but We'll buy as much sand as we can. Okay, so we got two more stacks. You know, we will build this as big as we can, and then I'll let you know how big it is, because you'll see it when you come back. All right, well, we have a little bit of sand left over, but I'd rather just, like, not fill it in and make it look weird. So it's still a pretty decently sized area, and now the next step is just put a bunch of cactus on it, which is kind of fun. I like placing cactus because it won't let you place it anywhere but sand, so you can just kind of hold down your mouse and just kind of look around, and it looks... It's just kind of satisfying to do, but let me plant all the sand and then I'll come right back. Now, uh, while I'm thinking about it and before I end up inevitably forgetting it, there is a way to break cactus faster, right? It's not a tool, but it's an IS upgrade. So we're gonna IS deposit sky coins. We got 54,000 from in between episodes. We're gonna go to IS upgrade. We may not have enough, but there's this island beacon upgrade. Oh, do we need to have money in there too? Oh, we need to have money, but it's haste two that you get at level three, and that will allow you to break cactus just a little bit faster. Now, also keep in mind, let's say your cactus has grown up this high. Breaking this one does not count as two. Break it like this, and then like this, and that will count as two. So make sure you don't like break it the efficient, speedy way, because uh, you're just trying to get like cactus player breaks. That's essentially what the server is looking out for. So if you get haste two on your island, it will just allow you to break the cactus just a little bit faster. It's not a lot faster, but it's definitely worth the upgrade. And uh, if you don't like like the speed effect, you can go to IS beacon like this and you can adjust it so you can turn on or off the speed effect. Um, it says enabled, but I don't actually have it. So I'm just gonna disable it. Uh, Cause I don't, I don't like, you know, running around super fast. I don't mind the movement speed in Minecraft. I feel like it's perfectly fine. Now in old school RuneScape, I feel like I move way too slow. So hopefully Jagex will fix that. Okay, so I will break this. Oh, no. Okay, so I will break this in between episodes whenever it grows. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I had some fun. We got some good builds done. I like the island theme. I think it looks beautiful. We haven't really used mahogany wood at all, but it's okay. I don't really like mahogany wood. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll end up using it in some other capacity. But for example, let's check. How much is this made? So look at that, dude. And that's literally just completely AFK cactus. It's just kind of flowing in there. So imagine I will just kind of build it up as time goes on. Maybe between episodes when I'm bored late at night, I'll watch some YouTube and just build it up. And we can have a big money maker, which will be super helpful. Because, you know, if I, I have to go do stuff in real life, I can just, you know, log out. Or not log out, but just like sit AFK and come back in the morning with a bunch of money. Well, thank you guys very much for watching. Again, if you want to leave me a message... 
you can leave a written book and put it in the chest or you can come over here well and to get to my island you come over here you type slash is visit the neo cubist just like that and it will take you to the exact block that i'm standing on and you can come around here and look around because you know if you want to know how to build this you can come and look at it over here in person or you want to build something like this because i think this looks beautiful then you can do that or if you want to know how to build a cactus farm and you got confused you can come and look at it here too so if you do need anything else i implore you to ask my wonderful staff team thank you to my staff team so so much for helping the season run so smoothly i really do genuinely appreciate you guys to the moon and back and if you guys ever have problems make sure you join the neo network discord you can make tickets on there and get help from my lovely staff team well anyways the secret code for today's episode is going to be 8673 so put that down in the comments below if you want to show me the watch the entirety of today's video again that is secret code 8673 put it in the comments let's confuse some new viewers look at all those dude look at all those in the chat let's go well thank you guys very much i do appreciate you guys i hope everyone's having a wonderful time we'll do is public and uh we'll open the island back up i keep it on private when i record but other than that you can come around and say hi i'm on the server a lot even when i'm not recording Come say bye to the video, video slash is visit the Neo Cubist. We'll see if anyone will, uh, anyone will, will, will come here and say bye. Let's see that block right there. See, that's the block. Let's go. Let's see. Hopefully, uh, oh, yo, we got sports in the house. Let's go. We got sports. We got sunset anchor. Let's go. Most we got lunar sleepy. We got a lot of people. Oh, we got a lot of people. Well, thank you guys. I, I appreciate you guys always coming by to say bye. But yes, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in. And thank you for playing on the server. I really appreciate you guys. We got over 500. Mm -hmm. I bet that was Jolt, even though he's not here. He was doing it in spirit. Over 500 people on the server, which is crazy. Well, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>